Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about this video. As you can see, I am back in a pocket for my everyday carry and she's looking really chunky and cute, which is what I always loved about my pocket. I love that she is always chunky, she is always cute, and just fashionable. Anyway, so I have been taking some time just to film like one or two videos a week. I really need it for myself because I've just been really extremely exhausted mentally, emotionally, physically, just exhausted. There's a lot of things happening. I did find a respite place for my parents and I think I finally made my decision and I'm happy about that but there's still a lot of work that goes into it and I'll explain that. But I wanted to share with you this pocket planner. This is a Naya Papery angel wings pocket planner and it is in a wide clasp not super wide not super chunky but just a wide clasp not the thinner one either and this i purchased a long time ago and it is sold out and they have never returned it so i basically purchased it while it was available and i truly love this leather it's very smooth it's very much like my sakura leather here that i love and it's really durable and I just love that. So I want to show you what's inside my pocket planner and we're going to do like a flip because I feel like it's been a long time since you've seen one. So in the front I have my 2021 card. Now I really love this card and even though it's 2021 I still love the color and I still love the purpose of it. Then I have just my simple daily task, home, moisturize, hydrate. I still do this every day. This is for me, daily task, email schedule. Then I have a cloth and paper journaling card here. And this card is like one of my faves, so I do have that. Then I have another card here. It says quality over quantity and then honestly on the side here i have a notique e for excellence card and then i have some stickers here from morgan and studios which is no longer making stickers but i still have that all right so in the front i have this inbox section here this is from cloth and paper i also have this inbox little dashboard here and this is from Sparkly Peach Co. She no longer is a shop. She closed her shop permanently, but I did get this a while back. This is from Cloth and Paper. It is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. It's literally one of my favorite dashboards. And then my Bravery dashboard here from Cloth and Paper. My inbox, and this is for really, really important things. Anything really pertinent that I need to check off. But I have been doing really good of just writing dailies if I need to, so that is fine. Then I have my Minimal Planners dashboard of lipsticks. This is her previous name, Modern and Minimal Co, but now she goes by My Minimal Planner. Beauty is in the way you hold yourself. This is another cloth and paper dashboard here, and I absolutely love this dashboard. Then I have my shit here, and this I believe is from either Gracie Edits or Caffeine and Paper Co. I really can't remember because it's been over a year since I used a pocket planner. Then I have the outbox here. So basically my outbox, what I like to do with my outbox is every week I will fill this in and I've been using pen and just tumble markers and slight stickers for this pocket planner. I do not want to overwhelm myself with just so many different things so i really just wanted to keep it simple so i just put the month here highlight the week and i put what i need to do here and then i check it off if it doesn't get checked off it gets moved over and as you can see i have other things here this was this week and i accomplished some things here which i checked off and i will be moving into the next week here and then this is the week coming up i have this week coming on and it's going to be a busy week. It's prom week. It's field day. There's also going to the barbershop and doing a couple of things on the day of my son's prom. So I will be busy that week. And this is the next one. So basically my outbox is whatever I need to take care of that week. 
and I really love that it's a weekly task list and this is from Simple and Trendy Co. She gives you symbols here. This week you put your main focus and then you put all your tasks that you need to do and I really like it because it's very similar to my Hobonichi cousin. It's very similar to that layout and plan and I really do appreciate it. Then moving on, this is get shit done, but let me go back to <laughs> my little dashboard. Okay, so this right here, this is from another company, Cat Espresso Co. And I just really love this dashboard right here. And I really just really do love the white kind of balancing out the colors here. This is from Lucy Plans Life and I love this dashboard. I love the minimalism but also the roses. I love roses. And then here's Get Shit Done. Now I'm just going to kind of go over what dashboards are here but everything in here is medical. So section one through four is my parents medical information. So this is their medications, their blood pressure, daily checks that I take, the um doctor's appointments and then I also do their weight so this is all specifically for my parents you're not going to see this section but I will show you the dashboard so I have this cloth and paper dashboard it's one of my favorites it's like the splattered paint then I have the capacity to do here this is also from cloth and paper I'm gonna flip that over then I have I fought a thousand battles but I am still standing and this is a journaling card I believe from the planner spot and I really just love this and I just kind of punched holes in it and that is what it is then I have my Chanel dashboard this is from sparkly peach co again she closed her shop but this is really beautiful Little Miss Magic Prince dashboard. She literally makes one of my favorite dashboards, stickers. I just love her shop and it's so eclectic and I just love the talent behind it. Then I have my manifest process action. This is from Lucy Plans Life. And as you can see, it is going to reflect a lot of dashboards and a lot of inserts from last year because that's what I was using and I'm going back in my stash. I'm really trying to save money because as you know, caregiving is not something that's essentially paid. You're basically doing this on your own independently and yeah, it's a process. So this is my weight. I don't mind sharing my weight. I've been cycling and spinning for the past four weeks now and I feel really great. I've lost Weight. I'm not really doing it to lose weight. I'm doing it to be healthy and strong and really kind of take care of my mental health because with Alzheimer's, they tell you you need to have a good diet. You need to keep your brain engaged. You need to exercise. So I'm doing all these things. I'm taking it very seriously, obviously, because my mother has gotten diagnosed and she also had cancer. So I have a lot of just things that I need to concern myself with being that I am her daughter. So then I have Dream Create Inspire. And this is a dashboard from my minimal planner. I love this dashboard. Then I have another transparent Chanel dashboard. And this is from Sparkly Peach Co. Who closed her shop. Then another dashboard from Lucy Plans Life. I love this. And it's very simple, very neutral. I just love it. So this is my monthly calendar. I'm going to flip it this way. And what I love about this, this is from... Simple Trendy Co. I just basically write the month, I write the days, I highlight it, and whatever I need to do or whatever appointments I have, I will fill it in and it gives me a monthly overview. I put a little sticker and that is it. I'm not really stressing myself out by making it look cute, making it look pretty. I think about a year and a half ago, I was way obsessed with, oh, the, my handwriting is not neat. Oh, this doesn't look pretty enough. And now I'm just like, I need it to be functional. I need it to serve a purpose. And I love the way pen and tumble markers are looking in this planner. And I appreciate that. And I really love the layout. It's simple and it gets the job done. So that's my monthly uh, view here. Then I have my weekly view also from Simple Trendy Co. Again, just pen, marker, simple layout. I just love it. Okay, so now that I moved it a little closer, you can see the weekly layout. You can see what I'm doing for the week. And again, pen, tumble markers, very simple. 
a sticker here, a sticker there, pen, and Tombow markers. I am not overwhelming myself. This is just to make sure I'm getting everything I need to get done for the week and checking it off. And this goes along with my weekly here. So basically whatever's in my inbox is gonna be reflected here. Moving along, I have the pause, breathe, proceed. And this is from my minimal planner. This is a dashboard from my shop that I had open. It's closed because I just, caregiving is taking a lot of my time, a lot of my energy. So it has not been open. I don't think it will be opening anytime soon because I have a lot more responsibilities, but I really did love this dashboard. And then I have this pocket pouch. This is from Annie's Planner Co. I stick a journaling card and some stickers or some die cuts in there. It's really cute and I really, really do love it. I love her and it's just a good time. Then I have this laminate from Planning with Alo or Alo's Creative Corner. Love her shop. And I have a cloth and paper journaling card, hole punched. Then I have um, the minimal or my minimal planner dashboard again. This is her old name again, but I love it paired with this. This is a 2022 dashboard from Planet Char. Just love that. I bought this in her Etsy shop and I'll try to link it below because I know some people will ask. And then I have the space dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Now for my dailies, if I need a daily, I will fill up a daily. And the thing is with dailies, it's only for my busy days. If I have a lot of things happening, I will fill it up. If I need to find the specific date, I will use the today marker to do that. And I have a lot of dailies in here. And also, newsflash, I no longer use 32 pound paper. I'm just using regular 28 pound paper, thinner paper. It's really functional. And for me, I gotten used to using thin paper. So now I'm just like, oh, 32 pound paper is too thick. So that's a plus, I guess, with the Hobonichi planning system. Now I'm going to my next section. I have another Chanel dashboard by Sparkly Peach Co. We close our shop. Little Miss Magic Prince. I just love her dashboards. I love her stickers. I love everything about the shop. Obsessed. I also have my dinero section. So this is all my bills. And I just love it because I write all my bills here and then I just put a check if whether I paid them or not. It's really simple. And this is also from Simple Trendy Co. Again, the purpose is to be functional and purposeful. So let me flip it over. This is again, very simple, very easy, just very to the point and it has all my bills listed. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the next section. This is the LV dashboard from Sparkly Peach Co. who closed her shop and then cloth and paper. I'm gonna flip over to a blank page but this is basically my mental download. This is anything that has to do with my parents, anything that has to do with assisted living, um, respite care. So I am researching that because unfortunately with mild cognitive decline or Alzheimer's, at times it can get really, really hard on a caregiver and it's something that I don't wanna think about. I really wanna keep my parents as long as possible and I'm really trying to. So this is only when needed and if necessary. I'm researching facilities, their costs, what my parents have to cover, things like that, what insurance covers. So yeah, it's anything pertaining to my parents regarding cost. And luckily my dad's a veteran, so that is great. But if you are a veteran or if you are someone who's not even a veteran and you're in your 30s and 40s, I highly recommend looking up long-term care insurance as well as making sure you are covered for if in the future you need something like assisted living where it's a community residence but you need help with meals and you need help with ADLs, that's called assisted living. Nursing home is more like a medical slash living facility where they provide you meals, medical care, all these things and you are truly reliant on them. So there is a big difference. This I made, I believe last year, I just kind of printed this sheet Stuck a sticker here from, <laughs> I just love this sticker. Um, I love this sticker so much and it's Petty Queen. And yes, at times I could be petty, at times I can't. It really depends if I wanna give my energy to something or someone. And then it has my name here, like what my parents call me, Estela with the one L. And then it says today is canceled, everyone just stay home. <laughs> and it's been like that for a minute. Then I have my reference card here, meeting, appointment, 
you know, another appointment. So I have it there for reference for my parents, but I kind of already know more or less any kind of square flags. This is from cloth and paper. Love that for me. And then of course my little Magic Prince journaling card. I'm telling you, I love her cards. I love her work. I just love everything that she does and I will constantly try to support her when I can. Planner, this is my new everyday carry. If I need to kind of write down my parents' blood pressure or appointments or anything, it goes in here. And then everything that's finalized or anything that I need to look back on as an archive, you already know goes in my pocket planner. I mean, my Hobonichi planner, I said pocket planner. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long chatty one, but let me know what you think. And until the next one, bye.